Hi, I'm Alice Geeler and I'm Julie Kelly and we're here at Google New York and we're going to show you how to add a layout to Google Slides. All right. So we have a Google Slides already made and the thing that you want to focus on is the tiny triangle. The tiny triangle. The tiny triangle. Don't wonder, click on it and when you click on the tiny triangle there are 11 layouts that you would never use. Right. And okay. they're right there for you. You can just choose one. Some of the layouts you would use. Have you ever used big giant X percentage? No. No, I've never used that one. It's like, who put that in there? <laughs> but when you click on the tiny triangle, you can make it a title slide, a section header, title and body, title and two columns, <laughs> title only, one column text, main point, Section, title, and description. You can add a caption. Now, I have a funny story about this, Julie. Okay. I was working with my husband's students, and he teaches English, and we asked them to add a slide and write a paragraph. And a bunch of the students chose the caption layout to write their paragraph. These are high school students. Wow. Julie, why is it that high school students would write their paragraph in a tiny little box? Because the picture is what's important. The picture is what is important. <laughs> They oftentimes get a template, is my theory on that. Right. And so I think it's so important that students are able to choose the layout without being told what the layout is. It's right. a small decision, but it's important to be able to communicate ideas and to pick which layout best communicates what you're right. trying to do. And they're more likely to do their best work if they get some decision making. I agree. So if you want to add a layout, just click the tiny triangle, add a slide. Thanks for joining us.